Do you know who LeBron James is? Yes. Have you seen him do the wiping of the nose and say slime? <laughs> Free fuck, Mistral! Free fuck, Mistral! Day 17 and 18 of the Young Thug YSL Rico trial had some insane moments. A fan got into the court Zoom call and screamed free thug mistrial over and over. Thug's lawyer Brian Steele cross-examines YSL co-founder Slug on pictures of gang signs that the prosecution got wrong. Steele focuses on the point that YSL was a record label and the gangster image was not real. Somehow this trial continues to have chaotic moments. I don't know how it keeps happening each time. Lil Wayne and LeBron James both get brought up today. <laughs> and someone hacks into the Zoom call. Hit subscribe. Here we go. First look at Thug today. Got a turtleneck and a white sweater. He's on a phone too. I don't think I've seen him on a phone yet. So that's interesting. So over Act 156 of uh, Thug throwing up a gang sign. Because obviously they have to prove he was the leader of this gang. They need pictures of him throwing up gang signs. The only reason why Thug's lawyer would bring this up is because it's not a gang sign, I'm assuming. 156. Do you see it's the date of January 16, 2022 is alleged? Yes. And um, do you recognize the gentleman in that photograph? Yes. And who is that gentleman? Definitely. Okay. Mr. Williams, Insta says Williams, Instagram account flashing a quote unquote gang sign over that in furtherance of conspiracy. You see where that's written? Yes. Tell the ladies and gentlemen jury whether you know, based upon your experience um, and your lifestyle, whether Mr. Williams is showing with his left hand gang sign. Tell me if I know or not. Yeah. Tell me if I know what, it, what he doing. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me what it is. He had a record out at the time called Pushing P. So he's making a P in reference to the song. Okay, are you familiar with the video of that song? Songs sometimes come along with videos. Do you know that? Oh, uh, they're saying it's a push and P sign. Are they about to play push and P video? They dead ass about to play this music video on court, bro. We have the whole video, Your Honor. I'm just showing the pertinent part, but if the state wants to show the whole video, it's fine. They're objecting basically rules of rule completeness, so no problem. Uh, we'll just play all of it. I'm pretty sure there's some uh, damn strip club scenes in this video. <laughs> Oh, uh, there's him throwing up the P sign in the Push and P music video. That's what they wanted to show, essentially. The speakers are terrible. <laughs> you can't even hear the song, really. You recognize who that is? I know, yeah. Who is it? Jeff Williams. Okay. And what Mr. Williams is doing um, with his hand, is that similar to what it's in the indictment count one over act number 156 that we've shown you before? Yes. Okay. And that is a P you said earlier, right? Yes. And did you realize or do you know? that the song Pushing P and the video were released um, shortly around January 16, 2022. I didn't realize that, but... So objection, Your Honor, as to the knowledge and speculation. I sustain objection. So Brian Steele has done his decent job at destroying three overt acts so far that Thog is part of that the state got completely wrong. Straight up, they are wrong. They're incorrect. They should not be overt acts in this case at all. To a jury that could make them second guess that some other overt acts could be bull too, but you never know. Did social media... And, and followers have any, if you know, have any type of significance to Mr. Williams. To objection get out as to speculation and it would call for self-serving hearsay. A sustained objection. You can, you, can, you can rephrase Mr. Steele or lay a little more foundation. And did he also communicate to people to try to get their attention and to have followers? Objection as to the mindset. A sustained question. And did he do all that under the monitor or frame in Young Thug? Yes. I think what he's working on here is the route that young thug is a character and like the lyrics aren't real or true because he's got to pull that card at some point if you know it's mr williams trying to portray a certain type of image on social media objection as to mindset i sustain the question you know i freaking knew it mr williams portrayed a certain image as okay. to as to um himself on social media objection i sustain the question did mr williams put forth <laughs> he, he cannot word this correctly <clears throat> a gangster rap image on social media yes and you know whether Mr. Williams had a lot of followers when he did that. Followers on Instagram. Objection calls for speculation. I stand if he knows. Do you ever see Mr. Williams' social media accounts? Yes. Okay. And does the, do the social media accounts show how many people are following? Yes. And did Mr. Williams, from this conduct, from this entertainment, did it have a lot of people following him? Objection has to compound and... I stand questions to form. <clears throat> Was there a time that you were mad at Mr. Williams for the content of his song, the lyrics that he used? Yeah. Tell ladies and gentlemen why. Because I knew that he was teasing me. Tell me what you mean by that. A song, and he referred to me as robbing women. Um, at that time, uh, the whole neighborhood was poking fun at me for uh, being accused of robbing women because they knew that. Objection as to what the neighborhood. I stand the question. They knew what I was known for, which was right, sustained. You can't answer the question. All right, sustain. All right. Mr. Stevens, don't say what other people were thinking. Just say what you were thinking. Why were you mad at Mr. Wade? Um, for even putting that in the song, knowing that it was, it was false. 
Was it false though? Probably not. You probably did rob a few, you know, old ladies down the street or something. That is kind of embarrassing for people like in the neighborhood to start messing with him over that lyric. But I wonder what Steele's route is here. You also made him because you believed in other lyrics. He was describing things that you did, but taking credit for it. Yeah. And why did that bother? Hold on. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Taking credit for like he did like crimes? That's crazy. Mr. Stevens, why did it bother you? Why were you mad at Mr. Williams for using lyrics about your life as if he did? An objection as to what lyrics, just as He was taking credit for things that you know you did in his lyrics. I felt the way. I couldn't hide how. I felt a certain type of way. I, I had a feeling about it. Are you going to object as to non-responsive? Instead of saying you felt a certain type of way, can you be more specific with that, Mr. Stevens? Why you were mad at Mr. Williams? I said I felt a, a certain type of way. I really can't say probably jealousy. I felt, yeah, probably jealousy because I knew it was something I could have been rapping about. Yeah. Money. I mean, imagine being in this position. You're friends with someone who like becomes a superstar and you're still broke in the hood. It's only natural to be jealous. At the same time, you should be, you know, happy for them. But it's like a natural feeling. Did people follow Jeffrey's lead, if you know, to wear tight pants? Objection. Sustained. Did people wear tight pants after Objection. Jeffrey? General, overbroad, irrelevant. I stand the question. Did you notice that after Jeffrey started with the Jeffrey started wearing tight pants. Other people in your neighborhood wore tight pants. Yes, it became a train. I couldn't hear you. Yes, it became, became a train. Train? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Take having the issues with this microphone. <laughs> a trend setup, to use your word. Objection, compound, and That's the same question. Do you know whether people followed what Jeffrey was wearing, singing about? Objection, speculation. Did people start dressing like Jeffrey? Objection, speculation. You might want to just ask a question before that, so. I don't know exactly why they did it, but I started seeing similarities in what he was doing and what other people were doing. Whether Jeffrey got any criticism, that means did people um, go against him for wearing tight jeans, if you know. Yes. And what, tell us about that. What did people do? Because um, you're aware. I'm, I'm aware that they was accusing him of being gay. Um, a homosexual? Yes. Did being called gay affect Jeffrey's popularity at all? Objection, Your Honor, as to... I if you know. Your Honor, you can't fix it. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying the question. Brian's still struggling a little bit, trying to get information out of him. You know this spider brand? Yeah. What is spider brand? A brand, a clothing brand. And whose clothing brand is that? Jeff Williams. Who is that gentleman in Mr. Williams number nine? Jeff Williams. Is he wearing a, what I call a hooded sweatshirt? Yes. And can you see the type or brand on that sweatshirt? Yes. What brand or type is that? Spider brand. And who owns spider brand, to your knowledge? <laughs> Jeff Williams. Okay. And what color is that hood, hooded spider brand sweat, sweatshirt? Blue with white words. And what color is that jacket? Blue. So get the point across that he is wearing blue and not wearing red. So this is Donovan Thomas, the guy that apparently Shannon Stillwell killed in a drive-by that thug helped rent the car and gave it to his boys to go kill this guy. All allegedly. Jeff Williams got on a blue shirt, blue pants. It's nut. He got on a white shirt. Who posted? this photograph of Mr. Williams and Mr. Thomas, Donovan Thomas on social media. Nut. And then it's written, me and little bro. Is that fair to say? Yes. And then it has an ampersand, thugger thugger one. Bullying at big homie. At Birdman with a five star kind of. Pound 25 million, sky the limit. You see all that? Yes. And I'm in the race, blood love. See all that? Yes. Um, Mr. Thomas and Mr. Jeffrey Williams were friends. You want to ask for clarity, vague? I stand the question. You can rephrase it, sir. To your knowledge, was Mr. Thomas, Donovan Thomas, and Mr. Williams friends? Time frame, Your Honor, vague. That's the same question. Just rephrase it. Were they friends? Yes. So Brian Steele's trying to get the point across that they were friends. So why would Jeffrey send someone to kill him? That's what the state is accusing Thug of doing. Are you aware at some point that the tour bus of Little Wayne was supposedly shot? Yes. Tell the ladies and gentlemen jury what information you have at all that Jeffrey Williams was in any way involved with the shooting of that tour bus. Uh, any at all? Your Honor. You have an objection, madam? I do not. Okay, all right. Go ahead. Can you answer the question, sir? Um, I don't have any information at all. And do you know whether people can buy spider merchandise over the internet? Yes. And is all this a business? Yes. Oh, okay. He's really pushing the, the business side, and this is all character and not real. Does Jeffrey Williams have a record label, YSL? Yes. And does he promote his records, albums, music, mixtapes, whatever it is, through YSL? Yes. Do you know some of the artists that Jeffrey has performed with? And if yes, tell the jury. Yes. Objection as to relevance. Mr. Steele. Goes to what Jeffrey Williams does, Your Honor, for his living. He's not a member I, of it. I sustain it. I, I should say, I'm an old objection. He can testify that if he knows. Post Malone. And what type of uh, music is Post Malone known for? Rock and roll. Mm. Different. Do you know whether Mr. Williams has ever um, done work with, you know, an artist named Rihanna? Yes. Okay. Elton John? Yes. Has Mr. Williams, to your knowledge, does he have a song out with Elton John? Yes. Is it a popular song, if you know? 
Yes. I think he's getting the point across that Thug works with more than just rappers. He's more than just a rapper, which he is. He had a bunch of different genres of songs. Um, do you know whether Mr. Williams has done work with an artist, if you know the artist, Ed Sheeran? Your Honor, I'm going to object to the line of questioning regarding how many or who all Mr. Williams has done work with if it was to establish that he is a rapper. No one to speak that. I'm a world objection. Um, how about, do you know an artist named Drake? Yes. Do you know if Mr. Williams has done music with Drake? Yes. And did Mr. Williams, to your knowledge, have a um, gigantic country hit? Yes. Of YSL and its associates and members enhance the notoriety, respect, the reputation. Tell the ladies and gentlemen jury how crime on Cleveland Avenue committed by YSL you or its members helped Jeffrey Williams when you answer those questions get respect, reputation, image, notoriety, street credibility. Help. Objection as to relevance and objection as to the court. We'll That's the same question. You know, I'm just going to direct the question best on direct examination. It's going to make them so objectionable, though. I'm going to stand the objection at this point in time. From being a member of YSL, that's what you said, right? Yeah. Tell the jury how Jeffrey Williams benefits from YSL. I ain't got no benefit. I, I, I don't feel like he benefit. I, don't, I ain't got no benefit. Why, explain to the jurors, why would Jeffrey Williams need money from you or anybody else living on Cleveland Avenue? I'm not trying to insult anybody. Just answer that question if you don't mind. Objection as to speculation. I stand the question. Do you ever give Jeffrey Williams any money? No. Money is a hard commodity to get for you, isn't it? Yes. And for many people on Cleveland Avenue, is that fair to say? Objection, speculation. I stand the question. Was there any rule to get into YSL? No. Could Jeffrey, to your knowledge, stop somebody from saying, I'm YSL? No. Could Jeffrey stop someone from putting a tattoo on their face, their arm, their... Objection, as to speculation and compound. I stand the question. Do you know whether Jeffrey could stop someone from putting a tattoo on their body? Objection as to speculation. Still speculation, Mr. Steele. I'll stand objection. Could he stop you from putting a tattoo on your body? No. You said earlier that people were copying. This is my word. Jeffrey, I think your word was, it was tr he was trending or something like that. Do you remember that? Yes. And he was clearly now singing about YSL, right? You know, do you know from social media, people outside of Cleveland Avenue starting to dress like Jeffrey? If you know from social media. Objection as to why they would be dressing. Let speculation. Me, let me, uh, let me. Let's see if he knows he has any basis. Can you answer that question? And do you know from social media, people outside of Cleveland Avenue, outside of our country, tattooing YSL on their bodies? Yes. And putting Jeffrey's face tattooed on their calves? Yes. On their um, stomachs? Yes, I'm not a girl she had on her arm. Jeffrey became wildly popular, right? Yes. Were you shocked at what he did? From where he came from? Objection. Amazing. Right now. I stand the question is for him. Rephrase, Mr. Steele. Okay. How would you describe, in your own words, how you feel about the fact where Jeffrey, you know where he came from, to where he grew. Do you ever think that was possible? I feel like anything ain't possible, but yeah, it was, it was amazing, man. Say that they know Jeffrey who really don't know him. Objection, speculation. I see, I see the question. Have you ever been in a situation where you knew that someone did not know Jeffrey, but they claimed to be able to contact him? Objection, foundation. I see the question. And although he wouldn't give anyone money, would Jeffrey be free to open his house to others? Yes. How people can get cars if they know Jeffrey in his home? Can I speak from my experience? Yes. The draw in his house with all the keys and he just, I, I don't even ask. I just grab that testimony that sentence right there is really good for thought because remember one of the overt acts he did was give his boys a car to go kill people that makes it look like thug had no idea what was going on at all and they just grabbed keys out of the drawer would jeffrey rent cars for other people if they needed a car yeah in his own name yeah and did other people including yourself at times were you able to rent a car did you have a credit card no but jeffrey would do that for you and others yeah. and would he ask any questions about where you were taking the the bentley jeep or or did was it just here you go. Right. Sometimes I didn't even know where I was going. Same with rental cars? Yeah. That he wanted to show people there is life outside of Cleveland Avenue. Objection, Your Honor. I sustain the question. Mr. Stevens, you can take your 10 minute break, please. Uh, all rise for our jury, please. <laughs> Free fuck, mistrial. Free fuck, mistrial. <laughs> Someone hacked into the Zoom call and said free thug mistrial over and over and everyone in the room heard it. You cannot make this shit up, bro. Holt. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and take our comfort break at this point in time. We'll be back in 10 minutes. We're in recess. Free thug mistrial. Free thug mistrial. <laughs> The prosecutor is objecting to a lot of stuff. Brian still is wording stuff kind of badly, but this is just going to take voice. Do you want a free $25 worth of stock? Click the link below, open an account and put $10 in and you get a free $25 in stock of your choosing. It could be Apple, Tesla, Netflix, like anything you want. Start building your future right now. Click the link below. Here's the rest of the video. It's an album cover. Okay, so this is that very controversial fit that Thug had on, basically where he's wearing a dress or something of some kind for an album cover from like, I think it's from 2016 or something. This has got to be Thug's lawyer pointing this out to say that this isn't someone who is a gangster would dress like this. Jeffrey. And what color is the garment 
What colors are the garment that Mr. Williams is shown wearing in number 12? Oh, and it's blue. That helps him even more. White, white top, blue bottom, sky blue bottom. Would you say that that's a dress? Yes. Entertainers, did you know at the time male entertainers were wearing dresses on their album covers? <laughs> did you ever see another album cover with the entertainer in a dress who's a man? Objection. Same. Place on your body a tattoo with the word Haiti. Yes. Did we see that earlier when you were being shown pictures of tattoos? No, nah, it's on my leg. One of Jeffrey's daughters named Haiti. Yes. And do you know, if you know, does Jeffrey have his children tattoos names on his... Uh, objection relevance. A same objection. Are you familiar with Jeffrey's tattoos or some of them? How about on his face? Yeah. Snitch, do you remember the district attorney asking you about a snitch? Yeah. What that word meant to you? Yeah. And you said something, the effect of a person who works with the police, did you, did you say Objection, something like that? Objection, your honor. That mischaracterization. A snitch. Did you say something like that? Yeah. To you, since you asked about by a district attorney, does a snitch mean someone who lies? It could. And does a snitch mean somebody who was given an incentive? That may be a bad word. Let, let me change it. Is a snitch someone who benefits by testifying for the prosecution? Is that your understanding of that word? It could. I want to talk with you. Do you remember being asked questions about uh, something called false flagging? Do you remember something like that? Yes. Tell the ladies and gentlemen jury what you, how you, you know, Mr. Stevens, understand the phrase false flagging. I, I really don't understand what she is. He doesn't know what false flagging is? Come on, bro. That's a lie, right? <clears throat> Have you heard that term before? Yes. Do you know? And if you don't know, say fine. It's good. It's all good. It's what you know. Do you know and can you tell us what false flagging means to you in the context of a supposed criminal street gang? Can you tell ladies and gentlemen what you understand, it, if at all? If you say, I don't understand what you're saying, just say, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm only familiar with it because of like things I don't heard. So I don't know if what I heard was true. So join YSL. Is there any type of pamphlet or Bible <clears throat> or rules that you're aware of if somebody wants to be YSL gang? No. Part of YSL, somebody has to be beaten in. You know what beaten in means? Yeah. You have to be beaten in. No, I know for a fact you don't have to be beating. How about paying money to enroll? Is there anything okay. like that? No. How about paying money to get out of criminal street gang YSL? Anything like that? No. Anybody can claim to be YSL. Yes. Do you have to know them and approve them? No. Do they owe anything to you? No. Do they have to come to you and say, I am uh, going to commit a crime on behalf of YSL? Does anything like that happen? No. Brian Steele here is trying to separate this idea that YSL is this big gang and trying to take other characteristics that other gangs have and show that YSL doesn't, you know, beat people in or commit crimes to enter YSL, etc. I, I couldn't hear you. I don't remember the beat. I don't remember the and Some more pictures of Thug wearing blue, not red, I guess. You remember this being a highlighter on Jeffrey in GQ Magazine. Yeah. Bro, I cannot believe they are playing lifestyle in court right now. Bro, free this man just based off his music, bro. Come on. I'm just joking. No one's above the law just because they make some of the best music of all time. I'm just joking. Lifestyle. Mr. Steele, if, I mean, you can, you can identify. I'm telling you, I'm probably gonna rule at this point in time. I'm not, I'm just, and if, if that's your desire, I'm gonna tell you that I'm not gonna admit it at this time, but however, that I'll reconsider it um, depending upon who else. Um. The judges agree that that video is inadmissible at the time through tech. They're not gonna show it to the jury. Do you notice any tattooing of the face of Lil Wayne? Yes. Okay. And um, do you have tattoos on your face? Yes. And does Mr. Williams, Lord Jeffrey? Yes. All right. Now, identify or see whether this is correct. Do you see some stars around the neckline? Yes. And how many stars do you count? Five. And um, how many points are on the stars? Five. And what color are the stars? And I, there may be multiple colors. You can name them all if you want. But what's the predominant color if you think there is one predominant? Red. All right. Now, this gentleman is an entertainer. Is that fair to say? Yes. And by entertainer, he does movies, right? Yes. He does uh, social appearances like you went to to go see him at, at he wasn't performing but he's just appearing at a club right yes um he does clearly music fair to say yes and he's one of the icons of music is that fair to say yes and he's been like that since he's been a child is that true yes and he's still like that today yes and his videos show things like red hats five point stars 
I think he's just trying to compare Thog and Lil Wayne that they're both entertainers and both kind of took on a fake persona that was like basically a gang member just for the internet, but they weren't really that. He sings about that. He shows it, right? Yeah. It's entertainment, right? Objection, Your Honor. Speculation. I say suggestions. Is it entertainment to you? Your Honor, objection is relevant and speculation as to the meaning. <laughs> Do you know whether Lil Wayne has ever won awards for his music and entertainment? Objection, relevant. I say suggestions. Do you tell the ladies and gentlemen jury if it's part of in your viewpoint, the American culture, this type of songs about gangs, five point stars, etc. Objection. Relevance. Speculation. It's professional sports people who show um, gang signs. What do you know to be gang signs? They, they don't move their hands. Yeah. yeah. You, I'm sorry, I cut you off. <laughs> you said they do movement with their hands, right? Yeah. Okay. And have you seen sports figures, professional sports figures, basketball, football, baseball? Have you seen them go like this with wiping their nose? Yes. On national TV? Yeah. Oh, no. He's going to bring up some famous people that have wiped the nose as a celebration. Seen tennis players. Do you know who Serena Williams is? Yes. Have you seen her at Wimbledon doing what's called a crit walk? Do you know what crit walk is, first of all? I don't watch tennis. Okay. <laughs> is gang culture promoted via entertainment? Yes. You ever hear the expression of studio gangster? Yes. Tell the ladies and gentlemen jury what that means. Rapping about, we're in the studio talking about gangster stuff. <laughs> and that's for entertainment, right? It's for promotion. Yeah. Do you know who LeBron James is? Yes. Tell the ladies and gentlemen jury who LeBron James is. Uh, NBA player. Okay. And have you seen him do the wiping of the nose and say slime? No. Uh -huh. Okay. Do you see where the prosecution um, alleges the YSL, the chain? Yes. As an overdact? Yes. And that Jeffrey has a B on his right shoulder. That's the crime overdact, right? Right. We talked about LeBron James. Have you seen him? Why does he keep bringing up... I mean, I know he's trying to get the point across that other famous people do the nose thing. It doesn't necessarily mean it's some big gang thing. That's the point of that. Uh, promote and advertise uh, going around to his teammates and doing the wiping of the nose and saying slime. Have you seen that? I'm saying LeBron James, he got a different handshake for each player. Yeah. Yeah. So describe to as, yeah, a standing objection. Describe what you remember seeing LeBron James doing when you say he has a different handshake for each player. And objection to relevance. It'll be relevant in a minute. He can do a lot of stuff. He can do a lot of stuff. Did one of them include wiping nose saying slime? Yeah, LeBron may have did it. Okay. Can you all come on up for a second, please? The judge just asked him to come forward right there because I think the judge is even getting annoyed. Ryan's still really pushing that YSL was a business and not a gang. And that the lyrics are all just basically cap rap and it's not true. We knew he was gonna have to pull that card too. Subscribe, Patreon for bonus weekly content. And love you guys. Peace out.